We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. This is another live stream broadcast of Apostolic Holiness Church of Jesus Christ. We're located in Houston, Texas. Amen. So praise God. This is our morning, Sunday morning. Amen. Live stream broadcast. Amen. Praise God. And uh, for those of you who may not be aware of the time, uh, we come on uh, Sundays, which is today, at 8.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. So uh, if you're on the East Coast, uh, that would be 9.30 your time. Uh, if you're on the West Coast, uh, like California, ooh, that would be 6.30 your time. Amen. Praise God. But of course, Central Standard, that's 8.30 a.m. Amen. So we thank God for the opportunity, amen, to preach the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, even according as it is written in his holy scriptures, amen, rightly divided and fitly spoken, amen, praise the Lord. We're not going forth with cunningly devised fables, amen, as uh, many so-called preachers today are doing, amen, some stuff that they, amen, have decided to make up. Amen. That's not even based in the word. Amen. Praise God. But it's based upon their theology. Based upon their philosophy. Amen. Praise God. In vain deceit and traditions of men, not to the rudiments of the world, and not of the Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I am only, amen, preaching and teaching what is written. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. And Hallelujah. And step one, praise God, that a man or a woman must be born again of the water and of the spirit in order to enter into the kingdom of God. There is no other way around being born again. Praise the Lord. Amen. Jesus, praise God, he's spoken. Amen. In John chapter 3, praise God, the apostle Peter executed that command in Acts chapter 2. Praise God. That is the born again, a new birth experience. Amen. Praise the Lord. And by God's grace, we will touch on that again. Amen. Praise God. Because hallelujah, there is no new message. Praise God. Amen. It would not make, amen, much sense, amen, for me to go over or teach, amen, doctrine, amen, to uh, folk who have not even been born into the church yet. Amen. Praise God. I, can do so if I wanted to, but amen, praise God, the Bible says that strong meat belong to them that are of full age, amen, even by reason of whom, amen, have their senses exercised, amen, to discern both good and evil, praise God, so strong meat, or in other words, the, the teaching of the doctrine, the apostles' doctrine, it belongs to them, amen, praise God, who are of full age, amen, mature enough to soak it in, praise God, but Amen. For someone who has not even been born into the church, amen, what's the sense of teaching them doctrine? There's no way they can really understand it. They're not even saved. Amen. Praise God. So, amen, that's why, praise God, the main primary focus of this live broadcast, praise God, is to tell you what much you do to be saved. Amen. Praise God. <coughs> if you're not yet saved. Amen. And that is... Praise God, being born again of the water and of the spirit. Praise God, after you have repented and turned from the practice of your wicked ways. Amen. And we will go before the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus Christ, we come before you, Lord God. We ask that you will have your way in this broadcast once again. We pray, Lord God, that you will touch and bless all those, O oh God, who are listening, O oh God, who are Tuning in right now, oh God, why this broadcast is live, and those who will later on tune in through the archive videos, oh God. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you will continue to, oh God, save souls, break yokes, 
tear down strongholds, O God, cast down wicked imaginations, and everything that exalt of itself against the knowledge of the truth, O God, in the hearts of many, O God, hallelujah, men and women, O God, that truly desire, O God, to see your face in peace. We pray, Lord Jesus, hallelujah, that you would grant repentance, O God, godly sorrow, that work repentance in our heart, O God, water baptism being administered in your name, Jesus. And hallelujah. We pray, Lord God, that when they're ready, O God, once the house been swept away and garnished, O God, cleaned up, O Lord, that you will hallelujah and do them with power from on high. O God, hallelujah. Fill them with the gift of your Holy Ghost. O God, hallelujah. Help them to live holy lives, O God, even unto death. O God, that they may truly, O God, be a child of God and hallelujah. Be in your presence, O God, and dwell in your house forever. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus, O oh God, for those who you have, O oh God, saved according to your scriptures, O oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for saving me, O oh God. Thank you, Lord, for saving my wife. I thank you, Lord God, for saving all those who have obeyed. Hallelujah. Your Acts 238 message, plan of salvation, O oh God. And Lord Jesus, we just pray all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise ye, Lord. <coughs> Yes, Lord, so, amen, praise God. You, pretty sure many of you heard it before, amen, especially, amen, the saints who are tuning in, amen, but praise God, we will go over it again, amen. So turn with me here into the book of St. John, so that's the gospel according to St. John, chapter 3, amen, praise the Lord. Yes, Lord, so what must you do to be saved? Praise God. You must be born again of the water and of the spirit. So John, or St. John, or the gospel according to St. John chapter 3, and we will start at verse 1. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. So praise God. He was a ruler of the Jews. Praise God. Amen. He had Amen, religious, amen, leadership and authority at that time. Amen. Nicodemus. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, which means teacher, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. So even though, praise the Lord, amen, Nicodemus was, amen, a religious ruler of the Jews, amen, part of the Sanhedrin council, the scribes and Pharisees, amen, Nicodemus had some, amen, some grace of humility in him, amen, praise God, amen. So he recognized, praise God, that Jesus was not an ordinary man, that he was more than just a man, amen, praise the Lord, because he even said, he said, Amen. Verse 2 again. He said, Rabbi, we know. So, amen. He wasn't guessing. He wasn't reckoning. Amen. He said, he knows. We know that thou art a teacher come from God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Nicodemus recognized this. Amen. He wasn't like the rest of the scribes and Pharisees that wanted Jesus dead because they considered him a threat. Amen. Praise God to that religious setup. Amen. Praise the Lord. Nicodemus, praise God, he had it in him. Amen. Because he wanted to be right. Amen. And I'm persuaded there are a few false prophets out there. Amen. That truly want to be right with God. You may be listening. Amen. Right now. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I know it was false prophets listening. Amen. When we was on the radio station. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. And it is a few of you. Amen. That you know, praise God, you're just twofold more the child of hell than the false prophet that, that converted you, amen? Because the false prophet that converted you to his false religion, amen, he knew better, amen? Praise God, but you, praise God, you might be like Nicodemus, amen? Praise God, just don't know better, amen? And once you hear the truth, amen, God give you the grace to run for your life, amen? Praise God, you have to humble yourself, amen? Praise the Lord. Amen. And realize, amen, that you are a false prophet and repent of those lies. Amen. Praise God. Set yourself down and obey the gospel. Acts 2.38. 
Amen. And then in time, after you sit and wait on your ministry, praise God, let the Lord, praise God, purge you, amen, praise God, and prepare you, amen, and instill the truth of his word, amen, praise the Lord, and his holy doctrine into you, then in due time, you can go out and, amen, be a true man of God, amen, but right now, if you're a false prophet, you need to sit down and repent, praise the Lord, because if you don't, you will end up in hell and then a lake of fire. The Bible said, all liars shall have that part in the lake that burneth with fire and brimstone. Amen. And that certainly includes the false prophet. Amen. If he don't repent. So verse 2 again. Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. So he recognized that God... Amen. In other words, the Spirit of God, amen, the Holy Ghost was with Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Because you read through this, amen, book, amen, praise God, and hallelujah, even chapter 1, amen, praise God. It makes it be known who Jesus really is, that he is God. Amen. He is the Father. Praise God. Amen. Because, hallelujah, the Spirit that was in Christ Jesus, amen, was the same Spirit that created the heavens and the earth. Amen. And even as, amen, John the Baptist said, it was given unto him without measure. And praise God, we can hold our place there. Amen. And let me pull up that. Find that scripture here. Because it's not too far. find that scripture later, but amen, praise God. So back to ch chapter 3, verse 3, and this is what Jesus said. Jesus answered and said unto him, verily, verily, in other words, truly, truly, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Amen, praise the Lord, amen, you must be born again, amen. Of the water and of the spirit. Amen. Praise God. And it verifies that in verse 5. Nicodemus, verse 4. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Amen. Praise God. In this Bible here, praise God that I have. I mean, it may be the same way in, in some of you, uh, some of the Bibles that some of you have. Amen. It has a scripture reference down here. Amen. Next to this verse here, it has, amen, praise God, Acts 238. Yes, Lord. They got Mark 16, 16 and Acts 238. Amen. Praise God. I tell you, amen, even the unsaved, amen, Bible translators, amen, they, they knew, amen, praise God, some of them, amen, because they recognize even based upon the scriptures, amen, praise God, they just naturally read and understand that's part of the born again experience, amen. Yeah, because Mark 16, 16, it says, he that believeth in is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. Because, amen, you have a lot of false prophets, amen, that teach that baptism is not necessary for salvation. Amen. That That is a lie. Amen. You must be baptized in Jesus' name. Praise God. If you are a true believer of Jesus Christ, you must go down in the water. Praise God. If you're not a believer, amen, and you refuse the water, praise God, you, hallelujah, shall be damned. So that's Mark chapter 16, verse 16. Amen. You can turn there quick if you like, or you can just write it down. Amen. Mark chapter 16, verse 16. He says, this is Jesus talking. He said, he that believeth and is baptized. In other words, immersed in water. Amen. Praise God. And as Peter preached, amen, in his name. 
shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. In other words, condemned. Amen. Condemned to hell. Amen. Your soul being lost. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I tell you, amen. You can't claim to have the Holy Ghost. Amen. And refuse water baptism in Jesus' name. Praise God. Something wrong with that Holy Ghost. Amen. Or refusing baptism at all. Amen. Praise God. You need to check that spirit because it's obviously not the spirit of truth. Amen. The spirit of truth will bear witness to, yes, I need to be baptized in water. Amen. By a man of God in Jesus' name. Amen. That's the birth of the water. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. So back to John chapter 3, verse 5. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, <clears throat> he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. In other words, that which is born, amen, naturally is natural. Amen. Born of the flesh, that's flesh. Amen. That's, praise God, that's the first birth. Amen. Praise God. Amen. That was of the will of man. Praise God. Whether, amen, it was, praise the Lord, amen, two people, amen, were married to each other, amen. Whether they put it on paper, praise God, it was a legitimate, amen, marriage, or amen, it was an unrighteous, amen, union, amen, but, amen, praise God, but God still honored it either way, amen, by, amen, allowing life, amen, to come out of that union, amen, praise God, amen, a lot of us, amen, this generation was born to fornication, amen, naturally, Amen. Praise God. What, what mom was shacking up or mom and dad was, amen, whatever little relationship or, amen, arrangement they had going on, they were not married. Amen. But as a result, amen, some of us came into this world. Amen. That was the birth of the flesh. Amen. Praise God. And, you know, praise the Lord. Amen. Because God is still a loving, merciful God. Amen. Praise God. So just because, amen, you were born of Amen. Fornication doesn't mean, amen, that you can't be saved. Amen. Praise God. You can still be born again of the water and of the spirit. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. You can still, amen, save yourself from this untoward generation. Praise God. If you so desire. Amen. Because this is a willful thing. Amen. Repentance is a willful thing. Amen. Turning away from the practice of sin. Amen. You have to willfully, willingly, amen, choose to stop sinning. It's a choice. Amen. And praise God, I can't make you repent. God can make you repent if he wanted to, but he's not going to make you. Amen. Praise God. He's going to leave you with that choice. Amen. Whether you wish to choose to repent and serve him or whether you wish to choose to, amen, Walk in darkness until, amen, he requires your soul, amen, praise God, and you spend the rest of eternity, amen, praise God, suffering the consequences, amen, praise God. So I thank the Lord, amen, that he worked repentance in me, praise God. I had to repent one day, amen. Every other brother and sister who has been born again of the water and of the spirit, they had to one day repent, turn from that mess, amen, praise God. Amen. Turn from the lying, the cheating, stealing, fornicating. Amen. Clubbing and partying. Amen. Praise God. Being conniving. Amen. Praise God. Coveting. Amen. Lusting after someone else's possessions. Amen. Praise God. That is something you have to turn from. Amen. Turn from the practice of. Amen. You have to quit sinning. Amen. And ask God to give you the power, the desire. Amen. Praise God. The strength that you need to repent. Amen. Praise God. If you truly desire to be saved, you must repent of your sins. There is no way around. Amen. Praise the Lord. Salvation. Amen. Through repentance. Amen. Praise God. You must repent. Amen. A death must take place in your life first. Amen. Praise God. That's being a partaker of Jesus Christ's death. Amen. When Jesus died on that cross, he done it willfully. Amen. He said, no man take my life, I lay it down on myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. Jesus laid down his life on that cross willingly. 
Amen. We must likewise lay down our life, amen, praise God, of sinning and amen, praise God, and doing all the unfruitful works of darkness. We must lay it down, give it up willingly, amen, let it go willingly, amen. Then after that death takes place, praise God, then we must experience the birth of the water, amen, praise the Lord, what Jesus is talking here, amen, in John chapter 3, amen, that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. So praise God, we must then be born again of the water. Praise God, must be baptized in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. After that death has taken place, that burial must then take place. Praise God, because that's being a partaker of the burial of Jesus Christ. When he was buried in that tomb, praise God, for three days and three nights, we must likewise be buried or born again of the water. Amen. That birth of the water experience, praise God, being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, in his name. Amen. Praise God for the remission of sins, for the removal, for the forgiveness of our sins. There, praise God, if you have not been baptized in Jesus' name, praise God, you have not received the remission of sins. Amen. Praise the Lord. And, you know, because anybody, amen, can repeat. I now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, dunk in the water, and never use the name of the Father, never use the name of the Son, never use the name of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Just repeat it. Amen. The titles and dunk you in the water. Amen. Praise God. That was not birth for the water. That was a waste of time. Amen. Praise God. You a, a parakeet, amen, can be trained to repeat Matthew 28, 19. Praise God. That doesn't mean he's, amen, the dumb bird is carrying out Matthew 28, 19. Praise God. Amen. So that's exactly what's going on. Amen. These dumb dog false prophets, amen, are repeating Matthew 28, 19. Praise God. But never executing the command of Matthew 28, 19. Jesus gave a command. Praise God. He didn't say repeat after me. Praise God and dunk them in water. Amen. He said, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. The actual name. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. He, even if the false prophet didn't know the name of the Father, if he didn't know the name of the Son, the false prophet know that, praise God, if he didn't know the name of the Holy Ghost, the false prophet, amen, most of them profess, amen, that they do know the name of the Son, amen, which is Jesus. Amen. So if, if even if they would say, okay, I baptize in the name of the Son, praise God, they, they would at least be getting that right. Amen. But no, nah, they don't even baptize in the name of the Son. Amen. They just repeat the titles and dunk a person. Amen. And once again, John chapter 5, verse 43, Jesus said, I am come in my Father's name, and you receive me not. Behold, if another shall come in his own name, him you will receive. Jesus claimed to Cain to come in the name of the Father. So praise God. The name of the Father is Jesus. Amen. John 5, 43. In this same book, amen, chapter 5, verse 43. And of course, the name of the Son is Jesus. Amen. Matthew 1, 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. The name of the Holy Ghost is Jesus. John 14, 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things into your remembrance whatsoever I have commanded you. Amen. So back to John 3. Amen. Verse 7. We read verse 6. We read again. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, but that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. So praise God. Hallelujah. When someone is born of the Spirit, Amen. Praise God. They are now a spiritual being. Amen. Praise God. Even though, amen, we still have these natural bodies, amen, that, that grows old and sometimes give us problems, you know, with ailments and sicknesses and diseases. But praise God, if you're born again of the spirit, praise God, you are now a spiritual being. Amen. Praise God. A new creature in Christ Jesus. Amen. You have a new nature, amen, on the inside. Amen. Praise God. Amen. A new mindset. Praise God. You got the Holy Ghost on the inside. Amen. The new man. 
He said, Marvel not that I say it unto thee, ye must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it comes, cometh, or whether it goeth. So is every one that is born of the Spirit. Amen. Praise God. So, amen. Naturally, we can hear the wind blow. Amen. But we can't see the wind. Amen. And we can't tell where it's coming from or where it's going. But we know the wind is there. Amen. Praise God. So, so is everyone that is born of the Spirit. So, with your natural eyes, amen. Praise the Lord. You can't see, amen, the Holy Ghost. But praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. You know it's there. Praise God. If you've been filled with it, amen. Those of us, hallelujah, you know he's in you. Praise God, hallelujah. I know he's in me. Praise God. Amen. And I know it was the Holy Ghost that fell on me. Amen. Praise God almost 10 years ago. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Because hallelujah, he spoke. Amen. I heard him speak. Amen. Praise God. Through my tongue, through my mouth, with other languages or other tongues, as his spirit gave the utterance. Amen. Praise God. So, hallelujah, the, the sound of the Holy Ghost, amen, can be heard when a person is filled with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Because the Holy Ghost will do the talking, amen. Praise God. He'll do the speaking. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's not something that, amen, you have to make up, amen, get desperate and make up a tongue, Amen. False prophet whispering in your ear. Amen. You're repeating what he tell you to say. Amen. Praise God. Or you're learning, making some stuff up. No, no, that ain't the Holy Ghost. Amen. Praise God. The Holy Ghost will fall on the inside. Praise God and do the talking for himself. So, amen. Acts 2, 38. And so that birth of the Spirit, amen, praise God, that is, amen, a type amen, or partaking in the resurrection of Jesus Christ because just as God raised up Jesus from the dead after three days, praise God, in other words, the, the spirit that had inhabited that body that created all things, amen, got his body back up from the dead, amen, praise God, amen, praise the Lord, that same spirit is the same one, amen, that will fall inside of your temple, praise the Lord, amen, once Amen. You have repented of your sins. Praise God and been baptized in his name. Praise God. Because that is a promise. Amen. He said, I send the promise of the Father unto you. Praise the Lord. And when God makes a promise, praise God, he will keep it. Amen. He's not like a man that he shall lie, neither the son of man that he shall repent. Praise God. Amen. Because God cannot tell a lie. Amen. Unlike, praise God, the devil and Amen. Liars. Amen. Praise God. Amen. God can't tell a lie because everything that God says is backed up. Amen. His word has so much power. Whenever he says something, it comes to existence. Amen. Even if it was not, wasn't in existence before he said it. Once God said it, praise God, it's going to happen. Amen. Praise God. And that's the same thing when it comes to being filled with the Holy Ghost. So Acts. Chapter 2. Amen. Praise God. We'll just start at verse 36. Amen. Of course, amen. On your own time, you can read the entire chapter. Amen. Of Acts chapter 2. So this is Peter. Amen. On the day of Apostle Peter. Amen. Not, amen, Reverend Billy Bob. Amen. Praise God. This is the Apostle Peter. On the day of Pentecost. Amen. He had just received the Holy Ghost. Amen. Him. Amen, along with the 120 in the upper room, praise God. And they spoke with other tongues, amen, as the Spirit gave them the utterance, praise God. They have received that birth of the Spirit experience, praise God. So, verse 36, Peter said, Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God have made that same Jesus, whom ye have crucified, both Lord and in Christ. Amen. So he's both Lord, who is our God, and Christ, which is the anointed. Amen. Because the Jews recognize, amen, that the Lord, he is God. Amen. Not a Lord of the Old Testament and the Lord of the New Testament. Hallelujah. They only understood that that was one Lord. So when they heard Peter calling Jesus Lord, 
Amen. Those Jews recognized that he was calling them God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because Jesus is God. Amen. The Bible says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Praise God. And they say he was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. Praise God. Jesus was in this world. Amen. Praise God. And the world didn't know him back then. Amen. Still don't know him. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Folk in false religion and darkness still don't know that Jesus is God Almighty. Amen. So, verse 37. Now, when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? Hallelujah. Then verse 38. Amen. Peter going to tell them what must they do to be saved. Amen. Praise God. Gave them a command of the birth of the water and of the spirit experience. <clears throat> then Peter said unto them, repent. Amen. So that's praise God of death. Amen. Praise God of death to sin. Praise the Lord. Amen. Turning from the practice. Amen. Of your wicked habits. Praise God. And be baptized. So here we go. The birth of the water. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That's the birth of the water. Amen. Experience. Praise God. Amen. For the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So in other words, you shall receive the birth of the Spirit. Amen. Praise God. And that's a promise. Amen. Once again, God does not make promises that he don't keep. Amen. Praise God. Whether it is a promise of reward or it is a promise of punishment. Praise God. He will keep his promise. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So he say, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. So here we go. The name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost is Jesus Christ. It's not, praise God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, because Father is not a name. It's just a title. Son is not a name. It is just a title. Holy Ghost is not a name. It is just a title. Praise God. Peter, full of the Holy Ghost, told them the name in which, praise God, men and women should be baptized in. Jesus Christ, for the remission of or forgiveness or removal of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promise is unto you and to your children. Amen. A promise. Amen. God keeps his promises. For the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So, amen. So we thank God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. For the truth of God's word. We thank God. Amen. Praise God for hallelujah. Amen. His grace and his mercy. Amen. That he has extended. Amen. Toward the sons of men even unto now. Amen. Praise God. You know, I thank God. Amen. For his patience. Amen. Because God, he doesn't want no one to die and go to hell. Amen. People are going down there because of the choices that they make. Amen. Praise God. Amen. You want to experience, amen, a temporary pleasure, amen, in exchange for eternal damnation and punishment, then, you know, by all means, that is your choice. But if, praise God, you wish to deny yourself, take up your cross and follow Jesus Christ, Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That you may receive, amen, a place in his kingdom, amen, to rule and reign with Christ, amen, who is God Almighty for all eternity, then by all means, amen, you must be born again of the water and of the spirit. Amen. Praise God. You must repent, be baptized in Jesus' name, and be filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Live a holy, sanctified life. Amen. To be a true Christian. Praise God. Not someone with a brand of religion. 
amen, praise God, and goes to some man's church and, amen, put money in a basket and sing songs, amen, while you're still shacked up, still drinking, smoking, lying, amen, praise God, living like any other, amen, ordinary child of the devil, amen, with a brand of religion. No, I'm not talking about that kind of way, praise God, hallelujah, amen, there is only one way. Amen. That way is holiness. Amen. God requires holiness. Amen. Not religion. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So you have to come out of religion and come to holiness if you want to be saved. Amen. Praise God. Otherwise, praise the Lord. As I say from time to time, praise God. If, you, if you're not willing to do what it takes to be saved, Amen. There's no sense of going to the false church. Amen. You might as well stop going there. Amen. Save your time. Save your money. Amen. Save your tithes and offerings. Amen. Just stay home. Amen. Be and, and just be lost outright. Amen. Praise God. Because you certainly, amen, will be lost outright in the false church. Amen. But at least if you stay home, you're saving money and you're saving time. Amen. Praise God. And then you can pay your bills. Amen. Instead of, praise God, depriving yourself. Amen. Being knocked upside the head for tithes and offerings. Amen. Which the Bible gives no command under this new covenant, New Testament grace today. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Tithes and offerings is not the apostles' teaching. Amen. Praise God. That was a Mosaic command. Amen. Given to the Jews under the law of Moses. And it was not even money. Praise God. It was agricultural goods. Amen. It was crops, livestock. Amen. It, it was never money. And it was never, amen, commanded of Gentiles. Amen. Praise God on top of that. Amen. Praise God. It was only to the Jews. Amen. To the, amen, lineage of the children. Amen. Praise God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Amen. Not Europeans or Africans. Amen. Or Asians or whatever other race or color or creed you are. Praise God. Amen. If you're not Jewish, amen. It was only to the Jews under the law of Moses. Amen. The law of Moses has been fulfilled. Praise God. We're under the new covenant of grace. Amen. By the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God, which is the grace, the covenant of liberty. Praise God of freedom. Amen. Praise the Lord. You can read 2 Corinthians chapter 9, 6 on down. It tells you how you should give. Praise God. And it does not consist of 10%. Amen. Praise God. You are to give as God prospers you. Amen. Not grudgingly nor of necessity because God loveth a cheerful giver. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Tithes and offerings for the New Testament. That is false teaching. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Only a false prophet. Amen. Or a man that is greedy for filthy lucre would teach tithes and offerings as a New Testament command. Amen. Praise God. And go so far as to say if you don't tithe, you're going to hell. No, false prophet, you're going to hell because you're telling those lies. Amen. Praise God. Because you're greedy or filthy lucre. Amen. Your money perish with you. Praise God. You're on your way to the lake of fire. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I tell you, amen, the word is just all right with me. Amen. So praise God. Hallelujah. I would never teach tithes and offerings. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because that is false teaching. Amen. For the New Testament church today. Amen. Praise God. I will tell you to give as God prosper you. Amen. As you purpose in your own heart. Amen. Not grudgingly nor of necessity. Amen. Because God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. Praise God. Not going to tell you, praise God, to give 10%. Amen. And your lights get cut off. Give 10%. Your car gets repossessed. Give 10%. You don't got enough food in the refrigerator. Give 10%. You can't even put gas in your automobile and get to work and back. Amen. God is not the author of that confusion. Amen. Praise God. The devil is. Amen. The devil is the author of confusion. The devil is a liar and the father of it. Amen. Praise God. And only a liar, amen, would teach, amen, such false damnable doctrine. 
amen, because they have such a love for money, amen, praise God, to put people under that type of bind, amen, praise the Lord. Hey, amen, now if I was a false prophet, amen, praise God, if I was preaching for money, no way I'd be teaching against tithes and offerings, amen, because that's where the money comes in at, praise God, hallelujah, amen, praise God, so you ought to know, praise God. Amen. We have a desire and a love for souls. Amen. Praise God. May not know you personally, but praise God, we love you. Amen. Praise God. And we want to see you saved. Amen. Praise God. Blessed of God. Amen. Full of the joy and peace of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Praise God. Fellowship, communion with the Father and with his people. Praise God. Hallelujah. Giving God the praise together. Amen. In his assembly. Praise the Lord and enjoy the Lord on this side and on the side to come. Amen. Praise God. But there is only one way to do that. Praise God. You must come in by the door. Praise the Lord. You must be born again of the water and of the spirit in order to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Amen. You must obey Acts 2.38. That is the only plan of salvation today. Amen. Repenting of your sins, being baptized in Jesus' name being filled with the Holy Ghost, and living holy. Amen. Not living Baptist or living Methodist or living Presbyterian. Praise God, but living holy. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, amen. Uh, yeah, you can give us a call. My number once again is 832-360-5812. 832-360-5812. You can also email me at apostolicminister at att.net. Amen. We're also on Facebook. Praise God. That's facebook.com forward slash apostolic holiness, Church of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are on YouTube as well. Amen. Praise God. We got plenty of other, amen, videos. Amen. Praise God that we do not have here on live stream. Amen. Praise God, because we have had the YouTube channel for, amen, several years now. So it's a lot of material on our YouTube channel that is not presented here on live stream. So you can go there also at youtube.com forward slash user forward slash James Manuel 3. Amen. Praise God. And, uh, we're also on Twitter. Amen. That's apostolic. H-C-J-C, so Apostolic H as in Harry, C-J-C. -C. <laughs>